you've been heavily outshot in the first two games, although the shot counting has maybe been a little suspect, but I know you, you pay more attention to chances. And the shots and the chances, are they correlating? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I wouldn't say heavily in the first game. Um, certainly in game two in the first period we were, yeah. With uh, injuries and so on, uh, what's going on? Do you feel you've got enough to come out on top of this one? Yes. No worries. You know, I like our team, liked our team all year. Um, you know, we've had a next man up mentality for two years here. We've had a lot of situations where uh, we've been short man, we've had our backs against the wall, we've had, you know, non-regulars in the lineup uh whatever it is and and this group's always had a mentality of of next man up and whoever's in the lineup and whoever's going on the ice is going to go out there and give everything they have to give us a chance to win um oh, i had a question i just blanked out on it uh Emily, you got it hey. Dan? Yeah. all right hey Coach, you got me now? I hear you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Coach, uh, thanks for taking time. Uh, sorry on daycare duty as well. But uh, your message to the team uh, heading into tonight? Uh, have fun. You know, uh, embrace the moments. Um, you earn these moments. Uh, they're, they're these, you know, they always don't come in your life, in your career. Um, you know, and, and it's late April. Uh, the weather's getting a bit warmer. It was certainly nice yesterday, and we're still playing hockey. Um, so, um, you know, we talked about Monday, um, having a little bit of a reset, you know, um, addressing that we're, we're, our whole focus is on one game, uh, not, on, not on the series. You worry about one game. And the way you worry about one game is, is we have to prepare properly, have a really good week, address some issues, which we did. The guys were excellent this week in, in the film meetings and in practice. And now let's let's go and go for it. Uh, have fun and, and safe as death. How do you uh, what are you expecting atmosphere wise uh, at the Blue Cross tonight? It's going to be electric. I mean, it's uh, I think it's going to be, you know, certainly close to nine thousand, if not more. So so Rochester fans keep pouring in. Uh, let's get it packed. But uh you know, the guys that were here last year and obviously uh, being fortunate enough to coach in it last year and seeing the Blue Cross Arena on playoff nights, uh, it was very special. And, you know, it's going to be like that again tonight, and it's our job to give them reason to be rowdy. Um, you know, in the first period, we need to get the crowd engaged into it, and the best way to do that is scoring chances, goals, hits, block shots, fights if, if necessary. Um, those things get, get the crowd uh, and the bench uh, energized and, and uh, we just need to make sure we do that tonight to get this place humming. And and forgive me if you've answered this question throughout the week, but do you feel like your team played better than being in a O2 hole? Like, do you think that like you could, you, you, is that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think we played good enough where we could have won, but not good enough where we were for sure going to win. Um, I think that's, Certainly Friday's game, we played good enough on the road against a really good team to put ourselves in a great position to win that game. We didn't execute at the end to, to pull it out. Um, Saturday, in the second and third, we played good enough to claw back into it. Credit to their team defense and their goaltender. So we need to be better um, because we haven't played good enough to, to do anything but leave it the chance at this point. Appreciate your time, Coach. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. As far as Tyson Kozak goes, you moved him up to, I guess, the scoring line. Just what's earned him that opportunity? What's say that again? What's what? Uh, as far as Tyson Kozak yep. goes, you moved him up the lineup. Just what's earned him that opportunity? Well, Tyson, um, we just have a lot of belief in him. I think he's played great hockey in the second half of the year. Uh, I think both both times he had injuries, his game was really heading in a really strong direction. He scored in both games. He got hurt. So he scored early in those games. He had fights in those games. He just, all his momentum as a player and a prospect was trending really upward. And then he unfortunately got hurt both those games and that, that slowed it. Um, but now to get him back, I, I felt that he was extremely effective for checker. Um, and the beauty of Cozy is he can anchor a checking line for you as a center. 
Um, but he can also play up because good players like playing with him because he ends up, he wins a lot of puck battles. He creates a lot of turnovers with his physicality. Um, so we're, uh, we believe that he can get in on the forecheck a little bit more as a winger and create some disruption and create some loose pucks for, uh, for the skilled guys he's with. He has, he's playing wing, uh, tonight. No, he played center. Yeah. That, I mean, he took a really big hit to create that goal uh, the other or last week. And I remember Prospects Challenge, he, he scored a shorthanded goal and he went to the net. So just shooting it. I mean, does he just does he do that to make plays a lot? To, a he, has, he has offense in him. Um, I, I, I've said that all year. I've said it to him. I knew that this year we wouldn't always see the offense, right? Because if he was born a couple of days later, he wouldn't be allowed to play in the American Hockey League because um, he's – He's only a couple days from being a 2003, right? So if he was a 2003, he would be playing major junior and he'd have a hundred points and everybody'd be talking about what a great two-way uh, physical player and offensive point producer he is. You come to this league, it's hard to create offense at that age. Um, but his offensive game, again, was trending up. Um, and, and I think we're gonna continue to see a lot of that as his career goes forward. The thing about Cozy at this time of the year, that play you brought up the assist in game one, uh, at this time of the year, you have to be willing to take hits, cross checks, slashes to create offense. And he is not worried about that at all. He, he knew, he was looking over his shoulder. He knew that, that, I think it was Carrick, big defenseman was coming to kill him. He knows that Syracuse is physical, so he knows the hits coming. And, but he saw a play and he's willing to do that all day long. Kulik is a go. Uh, Cedarquist is out. Uh, Kulik is in. Suban starts. <laughs>